Come on. There we go. Fifth times the charm. I'm Afroluigi. This is Export Foundations, and let's see if I don't ha if I don't have any problems with this recording. My first three attempted recordings, I was having sound issues, and like my mic wasn't getting picked up, my game audio wasn't getting picked up, and then I realized it was because I recently, it, I just had a birthday recently, and I finally got, and I had my new, I got a new mouse for my birthday. And I'm, I'm a fan, I have to say, I'm a fan of Logitech's hardware. Their software leaves something to be desired, because now I have three separate pieces of Logitech software on my computer. One to handle, so now I have one to handle my joystick, which is the old profiler thing, which is from the 90s, if not older. Because I've been using that thing back with my old extreme, uh, my old force feedback joystick I had from Logitech, oh, 20 some years ago. Same software still for that. Then I have my... Then for a while there, I was using the, specific, the Logitech gaming software for my keyboard, mouse, and headset. Well, my mu new mouse isn't supported by the Logitech gaming software, so now I had to install Logitech Hub. But Logitech Hub has taken over control of my headset in addition to the mouse. So OBS wasn't picking up my headset because it was trying to access it through the um, Logitech gaming software way. So I just had to go through and, okay, tell OBS, no, you're still using the same stuff, just click this. And I basically had to reset it. So now it's that's working, and then I was having um, uh, power issues where my computer was over, I guess, overheating and would shut off. So let's Welcome hope this back. playthrough Very goes nice well. Vega. I sense that Dal has something on his mind. Yeah, it might also be um, a memory issue because it would. Yeah, I think it only happened when I had OBS, X Reaper, X Four Foundations, and my spreadsheet software open at the same time. So let's see if we can get through this episode without any crash issues. We're ready for the next stage. And let's you know, go through all this. From Mankinslot said keeps bothering me. Remember how he insisted that ambitious individuals can't realize their potential because of the rigid parented hierarchy? Well, I found out that high priests and officials are indeed handcrafted for their specific roles. So there's some fundamental inflexibility. But according to the grand tales they tell about their heroes, a parentid can very much be promoted by proving himself worthy. Perhaps our triangular friend was in a state of crippling self-doubt? I don't think so. But there's no point in dwelling on that inconsistency right now. There are two parts to this final step. First of all, we need to take care of the cocoons in our custody. Bozo Ta and Kermankinslat will be in charge of terminating the preservation process and indoctrinating the occupants, respectively. Do not worry, my ethically immaculate assistant. Indoctrination is a very natural thing to these parent fellows. They'd be in a constant state of discomfort and uncertainty if we didn't catch them on the way out. At least that's what Kermankinslat told us before he left on important business. Secondly, the new palace needs some finishing touches. Kermak and Slot's blueprints prescribe the layout in great detail. I recommend resuming construction right away, so you can indulge Bozo's every whim in the meanwhile. Good luck out there. Alright, so let's get this going. Now, first things first. Let's have a look at what we need here. Now, this is the, um... I think I have enough eggs for spacefly caviar. Uh, where is the hammer that it's taking hits? Oh boy, um... Come on. Split Entering system. Uruk's demise. Obra. Alright, let's get them out of here. Oh, full speed. And... Okay. I think... What is my joystick doing? Prepare to die. I'd rather not. Yeah, let's get through that. What? Is something yank janky's going on? I think. 
I'm curious. Auto roll got turned back on. That's what was going on. Oh, and I also check off maintain speed and menus. There. That's what was going on. All right, we got this guy. We we got we got her to safety. Dragon, can I help? Oh, don't tell me you're going the long way, you stupid AI. Well, I'll hang out here and make sure she makes it past that uh, patrol. In the meantime, right, construction materials. That's a lot of advanced electronics. Let's get to it. Oh, that's nice that it kind of overwrites that. So, we're, we're going to start with the Sonra. Oh, it's, its container is full. What's it full of? Oh, we'll just cancel that then. Oh, what are you buying? All parts. Oh, well, actually, that was foolish of me. I should have kept the whole parts thing there. There. And actually, yeah, we'll have the Sonra deliver all the. Advanced Electronics. Wait, is that Advanced Electronics count not going down? Entering system. Family took her. Um, it's not. That's frustrating, actually. Oh, it might only go down after we do the delivery. So what we should do is actually rotate what it's asking for. On the other hand, that's it's asking for a lot of things. I might I'm going to queue this. I'm going to queue all these trades up off camera because that's going to take a while. So yeah, I'll do that off camera. We're not going to worry about that. So what we're going to actually what we're going to do in that case, let's see what we have at the headquarters. Entering system. Grand exchange. Come on. Let me take control. There we go. Now, I think I have enough space fly eggs to make caviar. Let's have a look. I have lots of space fly eggs. I think I only need 25. Actually, yeah. There. Now, to make to craft the space flags, we need to go to the dock. Trader's Corner. And space flag carrier. There we go. I only needed the one. Perfect. Craft. Oh, I already have a bunch of these things. Oh, 
All right, let's see. What do we still need to deliver then? Uh, mitonine crystals. Do we have six of them? Mitonine would be down here. I do not, but I have a bunch. I'm going to just grab all these trade wares. Bam. Alright, we need sedatives and mitonine crystals. Now, sedatives are a pain to find. I think Tigva sells them. Can I just teleport to a Tigva station? No, I can't. So where, actually, where are the, uh, okay, they're doing their job. Where, my Pegasus Vanguard is there. I'm going to send it to dock with the hat trading station. Now, where are you going? Hopefully you don't go through uh, Xenon territory. If you do and you die, that's your own fault. Uh, another option would be the um, pirate station I saw over here, although it was getting attacked earlier. Can I teleport there? No. So I'll send Striker there instead. Hopefully you wait till I get there. In the meantime, where's Hammer? Hammer's there. Hammer, I'm going to take direct control of, because I know where I'm going with Hammer. I'm going crystal hunting. Entering system, Yanamos Zura. Now, let's see. I like Atea's Misfortune 2 for uh, crystal mining, actually. So let's set a course there and head up there. Now, in the meantime, hmm. Entering oh, right promise. Ah, right. Credits. One billion credits. That's going to be a while. I think it's time I build myself a... Actually, let's see how my, these shipyards are doing. Is my weapon component factory consistently still sold out? It is. It might be time to expand it. Hmm. Although, I think I'm still waiting for... Oh, workforce is... Climbing. Oh, no, it's got a good workforce. Hmm. Honestly, the weapon components might just might, no matter what, stay low stock, so... I think it's time for me to build myself my own wharf and my own shipyards to start making some money. Entering system. Profit center alpha. Autopilot. Engaged. Oh, I love how the autopilot is going to take me through Argon space. Entering system. Silent witness. Hmm. I'll leave that going around shopping for sedatives later, because that's... It's just flying around a bunch of different stations. That's not that interesting. Meanwhile, crystal mining in, Ter in Xenon space is a bit more exciting. Ooh, Visitor 44. Entering system. Atikva's choice. A lot of hostile ships over here. Ooh, lockbox. Lockbox. Uh, is that worth going after? I don't think so. 
Okay, it's a bit off the highway, so sure, we're gonna go after that lock box. Eh, not with this ship. Definitely not with this ship. As it is, it's got, it has too much firepower. Entering system. Game prime. Do sedatives in the storage thing in the stage show up under trade wares or do they show under crafting wares? Hmm. I actually don't know. Entering system. Second contact. Jump gate. The void. Oh, of course, the autopod's going to take me through a tour through uh, Argon space to get to Atea's misfortune. So hopefully we find some mit mitonine cr crystals. That'll be handy. Entering system. The void. Jump gate. Frontier edge. Oh, and we're about to he head through some hazardous regions. They're just kind of casually thrown across this section. Unless we just flew over it. Hmm, we just flew over it. That's surprising. I haven't been here personally in a while, I don't think, actually. What is that on the right? Is that just like a wall of... Where about oh, wow. That's just a wall of construction storage modules. That's weird. Entering system. Frontier edge. And how far is that jump gate? Atia's misfortune. Atia's misfortune is how it's first. Not Atia's. Atia's. Oh, there's a station over there on the left, way in the distance. Wow, they actually got some lucky shots in on me. M. No, they have no chance of catching me. And once we're there, we'll start our crystal mine. We'll only get a few minutes and hope. Well, I won't mind until we have enough mitonine. How many more do we need? We need six mitonine crystals. And then we need, oh, and then we need nine sedatives. Ugh. Jump gate. Atya's misfortune. Can I make sedatives, actually? Entering system, Atya's misfortune. Oh, we're gonna go right past that solar power plant. Super highway, Atya's misfortune. Re. Actually, this region should work for my crystal mining as well. Although the fog's kind of irritating. Is this? So actually, we'll try uh, number se uh, sector three first before we come back to this one. Oh, another station right there. Xenon Wharf. Interesting. Asteroid. S. Xenon 
non-wharf. I kind of, kind of disappointed that the Xenon used the same wharf that everyone else does. Only a little, though. It's not something you really Super notice too much. Superhighway, Atya's misfortune, re. Autopilot, disengage. I think if we just hit this last inner ring here. Yep. Autopilot, and get entering. Oh, look, there's a K right there. Yeah, this sector I prefer a bit more. There's fog, but it's a little less omnipresent. Unknown zone. Asteroid. Unknown zone. Alright, once we're out of sensor range and away from the main travel regions, we will end the activate autopilot and begin our crystal mining. I see those question marks on the map now and then, but I've never been able to catch them. Oh, right, those things. I don't think uh, crystals spawn on them, though. Yeah, so what makes this easier is I turn off the HUD a little. And what we're looking for, for those of you who don't know, or either don't remember or don't know about crystal mining, is we're looking for little glints appearing on the edges of the asteroids. Like that one there. Um, so the, the asteroid in that targeting reticle next to it there you go that little glint there that's what we're looking for when it comes to crystal mining now if we get super lucky it's going to be uh, mitonine right off the bat um, I think the blue I don't think I think it There. Oh, there's a purple one in there. Melaline. Oh. That's not the mitonine one we want. Is it? No, we, we... So. And once we got that, we keep going. And let's see. Let's see these guys over here. Now, I'm not sure. Oh, did I just see one or is that just a star? No, that's just a star. Now, the way crystal mining works, uh, at least last I checked, the way crystal mining works is the hostile is places that are more hostile, like xenon sectors or form, former xenon sectors, are more likely to spawn the rarer crystals. And earlier versions of the games, these it was extraordinarily profitable to do crystal mining, but they nerfed that a little fairly early on. Did I see something up there? No, nothing on there. So crystal mining can be fairly slow and tedious, but it is it can be especially early on, it can be, you can make quite a bit of credits doing this.
not the most exciting thing to do, but... And the, 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 the key thing you have to worry about in when Crystal Mining I find, especially when you're doing it like the way I'm doing it, is random Xenon patrols and the encounter system, because if you end up too far outside the system, too far away from the core of the system, you will start triggering the encounter system, so you'll get random Kark or Xenon ships popping in. Now let's head over to that group of asteroids over there. Wonder what that cloud is supposed to be right there. Let's fly into it and find out. But yeah, I think to get that 1 billion credits, we definitely need a larger source of income, which does mean um, blueprints, shipyards, w wharfs, and stuff like that. I guess this is just supposed to be a dust cloud. Ah, oh, that's mildly disappointing. That's a good direction to head. Going a little fast, I think, though. Oh, it's, we've been spotted. Um. Let's kill the scout, then fly off in a random direction. Uh, like in the direction of our marker right there. All right, there we go. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of curious to see if crystals do spawn in those spire things. So let's head in that direction, actually. And oh crap, more of them. Um. Oh, it's not dead yet. There we go. No, oh, wrong way. And it's down to 31% hull. We've got this cat in the bag. There we go. I'm disappointed we didn't go 
Uh, increased in faulty. Okay, faulty logic one. We're not worried about that. Like these things are super eerie. I like. I love them so much, and we don't. And they don't go anywhere. Like we saw, like those red crystals there in X Rebirth. We saw uh, signs that the Xenon were like using those crystals for something or growing them. I'm just. I'm really disappointed. X Rebirth didn't go farther. Why? Like it didn't get more support because it had a really. There was a lot of little interesting lore touches here and there. Can we target these things? Asteroid. Oh, we can. Astero Asteroid. Ah, uh, unfortunately, we can't shoot those crystals off. Oh look, there's a station over there. What direction? Is that? Oh, that's the direction of the gate. Of the, we don't want to go that way. And there's a Xenon ship right near us. Um, let's go. Mm, let's just fly in that direction. Whichever direction that leads us. Oh, that's back the way we came. Let's head over uh, here then. Oh, we just passed one. Ah, crap. Turn. Come on. Now, where was it? Ah, it's right there. Ah, uh, it's another one of these, uh, melanin. Yep, melanin. So this episode's getting a little bit long, and I've basically shown you what I'm going to be doing for the next couple hours, not including the uh, gathering up resources for the uh, uh, palace. So I'm going to end the episode here. Off camera, I'll be doing a whole bunch of building up. I'll be doing a bunch of trading to get this palace almost finished. And other than that, yeah, we'll be uh, waiting. That'll be a lot of waiting. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode, where hopefully I'll have done a bunch of building up. I, I'm going to have a bunch of time coming up, and although I do, it does look like, um, I mentioned a little while ago that I was going in for uh, my previous employer, well, the new owners of uh, my previous job uh, wanted me back. It does look like they're going to be back, having me back more often. They want me back again uh, coming up on Friday, actually. So yeah, it'll be, actually it'll be the Friday after this episode is released, where I'll be going in to talk to them about that. that. So I'm super happy about that so i won't have as much time to record as i used to but i'll still have some and i'll be able to make some time my roommates are understanding so i will see you guys in the next episode bye <laughs>